Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is part 5 of Tableau Scenario Based Interview Question Series. If you have not watched the previous video of the series, I recommend you to check out the previous video as, as it is quite helpful for your Tableau practice. So without any further delay, let's get started. So the question is how to swap sheets in Tableau. So we can do it by using three ways. First is using parameter. Second is using containers. Third is using action filter. So let's discuss it how we can do it in Tableau. Let's try our first method that is using parameter. To use this method, first we need two sheets for swapping. Then we create a parameter and then we use a calculated field to reference the parameter. Okay, let's create sheets first. I am creating sheets for month wise sales and month wise profit so let's do it drag order date make it to month drag sales change the name of the sheet month wise sales let's create month wise profit drag order date Make it to month, track profit, change the name of the sheet, month, month profit. Okay, let's create a parameter so that we can use swapping. Enter the name of the parameter. Sorry. Month wise sales slash profit data type would be string. Enter the value that you want to use in the parameter month wise sales month wise profit. Okay. Click on OK. Now create a calculator field to reference the parameter. Enter the name of calculator field. Worldwide sales slash profit and drag the parameter here and click on OK. Let's drag this calculator field into the filter and exclude this why we are excluding this because when we are uh, when we want to see uh, month wise month wise profit we don't want to see month wise sales okay then click on okay then drag the field in this also click on okay so when when we want to see month month wise sales we use this parameter we use this calculated field okay Then create a dashboard, adjust the size of the dashboard, I am choosing desktop browser. Let's drag vertical dashboard object, let's drag our sheets, hide the name of the sheets. And use our parameter. Okay. So when we click on month wise sales, it will show month wise sales. When we click on month wise profit, it will show month wise profit. Okay. As you can see, we can easily swap the sheets. Okay. This is our first method. Let's move to our method that is using containers. Okay. Let's try our second method using containers. For this method also we need two sheets for swapping. So first we create category for sales and then we create subcategory for sales. Okay. Let's do it. Drag category, then click on sales. Sheets created. 
epic reaper sales then create subcategory for sales sub category for sales let's create a dashboard adjust the size of the dashboard i'm using desktop browser okay let's drag customer for sales make it plotting and adjust the size make it entire view and hide the title okay let's create a container adjust the size make it the similar size as we have for category per sales add sub category per sales to the container hide its title and make it entire view okay so to swap the sheet we need to create a button okay how to create a button right click here add and show button okay let's add it the button and make it more interactive so there are two type of button style one is image button and second is second is text button okay so i'm using text button so i'm using click here the limit button and apply okay let's adjust the size of the button so how we can use the button hold the alt key and and click on the button okay so this is how you can swap the sheet by using containers let's discuss our third method to use our third method again we need two sheets then we create two calculated fields with text so that we can use them as a button and we will create two dummy measures okay let's do it first i'm creating sheets so i'm creating pie chart based on region for sales convert it into pie and view entire view. okay drag regions in the label also rename the sheets sheets again create one more sheets so i am using now segment per sales okay convert it into file go for entire view drag customer in the label rooms so drag segment in the label okay rename the sheet segment per set okay okay now we'll create two calculated field so that we can use them as a button so we can use using button Reason. Click on OK. Create one more segment button. Segment. Okay. Now create two dummy users. That is. Zero
and one. Okay. Drag them into dimensions. Okay. okay. Buttons. Uh, let's drag our calculate field. Drag this field. Zero and one. Make it as shape. Okay. Change it to this one and increase the size. Okay. Rename the shape. But then repeat the same process for segment button. So we are doing we are duplicating it so that we can use it as same segment button rename the shape remove region button then drag segment button okay increase the size then create a dashboard okay adjust the size of the dashboard so I'm using desktop browser let's drag a container and drag our region per sales and segment per sales okay we don't want these regions so we are hiding remove the title Okay, so we have added our segment per sales and region per sales. So now we will add our button. Okay, so let's drag one more container and drag our button here. Remove their title. And make them entire view. Okay. Do it same for this also. Entire view. Let's format this. Change the alignment. Make it center. Do it same. Okay. So we can use them as a button to swap the sheets. So we have created two container. Adjust the size for both of them. So now, now let's add action filter. Okay. Go to dashboard. Go to action. Add action. Now we will add action filter to hide other worksheet okay let's do it reason to hide segment okay so when we select region button it should hide <coughs> segment per se exclude them then choose our dummy variable okay let's try it if it's work or not when we click on it it will hide segment per sales okay let's do it same for segment Segment to hide region. Okay. So when we click on segment segment button, it should hide regions per se. Okay. Click on OK. Let's try if is it work or not. 
Let me check why it's not working. Uh, we need to select we need to choose the select we are using value okay now let's try it so when we click it so it hide real parcels okay now add two more action one for reason to show reason sales and one for segment to show segment parcels okay go to filter Rename filter region button to show region. Okay, so when we click on region button, it should show regions per se. Okay, that's it. To one zero to zero. Okay, let's try it. So, when we click on reasons button, it will show reasons per cell. Okay, let's repeat it. Same for segment. Segment button to show segment at buttons. Click on OK. And let's try this also. So when we click on it, it is showing segment per sales and hiding regions per sales. Okay. So when we click here, so it, it is showing regions per sale and hiding segment per sales. So this is how we can swap these sheets also. Okay. So thank you so much for watching the video. If you like the video, please do like, share, and subscribe and stay tuned for more interesting videos.